What's up guys, it's Crutcher Kid, and today, welcome to the 6th episode of Cube News. Now you guys already know the deal, let's just get right into the news. Now starting out with FOSS solved, this section is kind of self-explanatory, but I want to start it out with a little bit of a personal shout out. I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Brendan Dunnigan who competed in his first competition this weekend, and he absolutely killed it. He won the competition, which keep in mind, this was his first competition, with a 7.39 average and a 6.59 single, as well as a 5.15 clock average, which puts him 11th in the world and 3rd in North America. He also got a 31.63 4x4 average, which is the best first timer average. Basically what that means is someone's first 4x4 average ever in competition, his was the best out of everyone who's ever competed in 4x4, which is absolutely insane. And of course, he also got that record in clock, as well as getting state record. So yeah, Brendan, if you're watching this, it's been great getting to know you over this past year or so. I know how much work and practice and time it took to get here, so great job, and I can't wait to see what you accomplish in the future. A bunch of my other friends like Cubing in the Rain, Carson, Carter Cubes, people like that, Boris, they all competed this weekend at Slow and Steady, so congrats to them on their awesome results. Next up for Fast Solves, Leandro Martin Lopez, an insanely good Mega Mix Solver got a world record 2 single and a world record 2 average. The single was a 28.64 and the average was a 31.99. This average was pretty insane and I can see somebody beating Juan Pablo's averages and singles really soon. Now you've probably already heard about this but two weeks ago Max Park broke four world records in one day which is absolutely insane. He started off by breaking the 3x3 world record average by 0.01 seconds and then he later beat that. The original time he broke was 5.47 and then he later beat that 5.47 with a 5.32. He also got the one-handed world record average of 9.34 and the 4x4 world record average of 20.94 which is absolutely insane also this kid is five years old what the heck So starting off for new releases, we actually have announcement of two new cube brands. Now these brands are called Peak Cube and Mortry, or Mortry, I'm not sure. But let's start off with Peak Cube. Now starting off with Peak Cube, they've released a new 3x3 called the Peak Cube S3R, and you can get it for $44.99 at thecubicle.com, but less with code KTK. They have a new very interesting tensioning system with I believe four springs, and a really interesting customization feature. The way the tensioning system works is there are these tabs that you swap out to affect the tension in the four springs. Now this is pretty interesting, but I don't think is better than screw and spring. I think it's just overly complicated, and I don't really know why they did this. Now, as for the interesting customization feature, this puzzle has interchangeable piece caps. Now, what these do is the caps have different textures, which affects the feel of the cube. For example, there's a diamond texture and a smooth texture. The smooth texture will, of course, make the cube smoother. And what the diamond texture does, it has an anti-sticking design, but unfortunately, that does eat up lube. So yeah, that's the Peak S3R. I don't think I'll be getting this cube because, as you guys probably know, I really hate overcomplicated adjustment systems. But yeah, let's just get into the next puzzle. Now, let's talk a bit about Mortry. The founder of Mortry designed the MGC Square One, and their first 3x3 is going to be released soon. Now, we don't know much about them, but we do know that there are going to be four versions. Now, we don't know what these four features are, but we can see that they all have this scale pattern, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, the MGC Square One is mostly a great puzzle, so I'm expecting the 3x3 to also be pretty good. Staying on topic of YJ puzzles and MGC puzzles, the new YJ MGC Evo has been released. It's $24.99, which is the same price as the Tornado V2, and it looks like a pretty good mid-range or flagship puzzle. It has 6 magnet combinations and 10 compression combinations, and you don't need a tool to adjust them, which is really cool. Now, in the past, YJ's 3x3s haven't been the best, so I might give this cube a try. It looks pretty cool. And I really like that the adjustment system, you don't need any special tools, which is really cool and really convenient. So yeah, that's the MGC Evo. Next up, we have some pretty interesting products by GAN. Starting off, we have a new 28mm small cube. I'm pretty sure it's meant for mosaics. GAN themselves made the biggest cube mosaic ever with over 14 thousand cubes and these cubes were the ones used now these cubes are only 28 millimeters which is pretty interesting and i'm pretty sure if you get 10 by 10 of these which is 100 cubes it's a little bit more than the gan 12 which is pretty interesting now the cubicle had an exclusive interview with the founder of gan and he said some pretty cool stuff and we also learned in 2022 gan is going to release a 5 by 5 and a square one which is really cool my price estimate is a kidney and a couple other vital organs but honestly my price estimate is 60 to 80 dollars for the 5 by 5 and around 30 to 40 dollars for the square one which is a lot of money GAN is also branching out to non-WCA puzzles, and next year they're gonna release a mirror cube, and it looks pretty interesting. If you want to check out the interview, I'll leave a link on screen and in the description. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna conclude it for today's episode of Cube News. Before the video ends, I want to give a quick shout out to Max Xiao and Christopher Sun. Max Xiao got a 4.66 official 3x3 single and a 5.26 square one single, which is absolutely insane. So congratulations.
congrats to him. And for Christopher's son, he got a 6.16 official 3x3 average, which is really cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye.